Have you ever wondered how your body gets the energy to run, jump, blink, or even think? A student from Las Cruces Academy asked, how does ATP transfer energy throughout the body? Great question. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate, but I like to call it the body's rechargeable battery. And what we're talking about today is chemical energy, just one type of energy our bodies use every day. We also use electrical energy for nerve signals and mechanical energy for movement, but ATP is our body's chemical power source. ATP has three phosphate groups. Think of them like three little springs that are packed with energy. When your cells need power, ATP does something super cool. It snaps off one of those phosphate groups. This is called ATP hydrolysis, which means breaking using water. When that phosphate pops off, energy is released, just like a spring jumping open. That energy helps your muscles move, your nerves send signals, and your organs do their job. The chemical reaction that makes it work is ATP breaking into ADP, phosphate, and energy. Think of ATP as a charged battery, and ADP, adenosine diphosphate, as an uncharged battery. This happens inside of almost every cell in your body. To make the reaction go fast, your body uses special helpers called enzymes. The main one is ATPase. ATPase grabs ATP, breaks off the phosphate group, and releases energy right where it's needed. But there's something super important. Your body must have plenty of fuel to make ATP in the first place. Your mitochondria recharge ATP using the food that you eat. The best sources are carbohydrates, your body's easiest and quickest fuel, fats, which are a long-lasting energy storage for your body, and proteins, which your body uses as a backup fuel when needed. Your body needs all three in healthy, balanced amounts, so it can make enough ATP to keep you moving, learning, breathing, and growing. So ACP is always being used, recharged, used, and recharged again, like the world's best reusable battery. So that's how ATP transfers energy. A chemical reaction called hydrolysis releases energy, ATPase enzymes make it happen fast, and foods such as carbs, fats, and proteins help your body make and recharge ATP. Pretty awesome what's happening inside us every second.